What I want to talk to you about today is the topic of family building, especially building your own parametric family. Maybe you have um, created your, your own family before to use in your project, but then a dimension changes and you have to go back into the family editor, change the dimension there and then import it back into the, the project, which is a lot of steps. But there is a simpler way with parametric families. With parametric families, you can make your families flexible so that if a dimension changes, you can change it in, within the project. So what we want to do today is create a cube with parametric dimensions so we can change width and um, length in the project so we can, can use it as a placeholder for say a table or a cupboard in an early, early stage of the project. So we create a new family. And we choose um, for this a simple generic model. So for our cube, we need an extrusion with, with a rectangle as a basis. And here you see Revit already proposes you to um, fix those dimensions if you um, for, for if you forget to click it now, it's the same as when you, uh, it works the same as when you uh, create your own dimensions. Now all we have to do is fix those dimensions to a parameter. Now I'm using Revit 17 and um, for Revit 17 you have the, the function that we're looking for right here. If you're using an older version it probably is somewhere around here but it's it's the same. You can um, it enables you to choose a parameter that defines the length length of this dimension. As we don't have any we have to create them first. Now we name name this width um, and this is important, you have to choose if you want this parameter to be a type parameter or an instance parameter. This means later when you've completed your family, you can change this parameter either in um, the properties, if it's an instance parameter, or you can change it, change it when you click on edit type, um, if it's a type parameter. So what you have to think about is whether you want to have many of the same and if they, if one dimension changes you want to change it for all of the instances or if you or if you have a lot of different dimensions so then you will choose the instance um, parameter. We gonna, we're going to make it an instance for now. So there we have it. Now we're going to do the same with this dimension. But the good thing is you can change it afterwards as well. So we're going to put this as a, a type parameter so that you see both of it. Both these parameters come in the um, family types uh, box. You can change, and now we can put in uh, different values, and we'll see that the dimensions will adapt to it. And um, we finish the extrusion, and in our 3D view, we'll see our block that we wanted to create. Now we have a um, block that is parametric for its length and its width, but we can also uh, make the height um, parametric. For this we choose extrusion end and there you see this little 
button right here, we click on it and we can attach it to a third parameter that we create over here. We name it hi and there you go. Now if we choose, if we change it to say 500, the block changes with it. So we're already done. Let's import it to an, uh, into our project and see how it works. No, sorry. Now we only need to place it. And now we have our uh, family that we just created. We see, because we made the width um, as an instance parameter, we can change this in the properties. Oops, sorry. And our other uh, dimensions we can change in the type properties. Okay, height we won't see now because it's a plan, but length we can change. See, there you go. Well, I hope you like my video and give parametric families a try. Um, any kind of questions or suggestions, leave them in the comments below. I have to go now. I gotta go to the Oktoberfest. <laughs> Bye!